It's a section of stone wall, about eight giant stones. I got a winch, I got some cable, I got some snatch blocks. I gotta see if I can move these so I can create a road right out through here. This is boulder number one. Once we get it tipped up right like this, then you can kind of get some more straps under it. Yeah, we got some straps on there. Can pull this sucker a little further. Some of them are dropping off here and there, but it's doing all right. This one was especially troubling. A lot of false starts. Well, she's up out of the hole. That's good. Probably not gonna make it around that tree though. Stings a little bit so that the strap is now pulling the rock to the right of that tree instead of to the left of it or right into the middle of it. Hopefully it's gonna go to the right of that, uh, that tree right there. That stone looked like it was about 1,500 pounds, left a heck of a hole. So we have another rather stubborn stone in the wall. It's kind of wedged in between uh, two other stones. I'm gonna try to pull it that way. So we have a strap with a uh, anchor here. <clears throat> and then the cable goes to a pulley, and then that cable goes to another pulley over here. And then finally, back to the truck. Now I've got two stones upright enough that I can get stuff under them, get some straps under here and stuff. Okay, so we've uh, trussed up the rock really good, so hopefully the, the whole thing is going to hold together and be able to pull instead of just looping off. And also put some stones under that bottom stone to hold it up so I can get straps under that after this one is gone. So as we started to move it, that bottom rock moved quite a bit and it might just flop over as well so I put a chain down so that if it does flop over it'll flop on top of the chain oh, here we go <laughs> unfortunately the boulder landed right on top of the pulley, so I'm gonna have to try and jack it up and get the pulley out. Okay, so now we have, uh, the anchor is over here on this tree, and comes back to a pulley on the stone, and then goes back to the tree, and then another pulley and back to the truck over here on the winch, so. So we got lucky with this one because it pulled sideways when we pulled out the other one. I had a lot of grippy corners. I could get the strap really well wrapped around it. So it should pull without slipping off. All right, so this is probably one of the most complicated ones I've done so far. Get this rock that I want to pull in that direction. Uh, and I'm anticipating it being kind of a bear because it looks pretty big. So we're going to win a five to one advantage with the uh, snatch blocks. So it goes from this rock over to that pulley. And then it goes back over here to another pulley and then 
back over here to another pulley and then back over here to another pulley and then finally to the trusty winch um doesn't look like it's moving might have to dig around a little bit see if i can loosen it up so now that um we got it up out of the ground unstuck it should be pretty easy so we drop back to a three to one uh <laughs> because it should be pretty easy to pull now. I've kind of reached the end of my rope here. The cable is uh, pulling this way and through the pulley, so it can't go through the pulley, so I'm gonna have to re-rig. Here's what that wall looked like before. There were eight stones need to be moved so that I could get the truck up through and uh, harvest the wood that's on the other side. And here's what it looks like now. Um, some of the stones pulled in the further into the woods. Some of them we just pulled off to the side. Pretty satisfying work.